Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yesterday marked the day of Arbain, which occurs 40 days after the day of Ashura, when Hussein ibn Ali, the grandson of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was martyred in the Battle of Karbala. <laughs> Hussein ibn Ali was a 7th century revolutionary <clears throat> leader who sacrificed his life for social justice. The day of Arbaim is the day on which Hussein's family returned to the land of Karbala to properly bid farewell and grieve their loved ones. Today, 1400 years later, the day of Arbaim is mourned by millions of people around the world. It is a day to pay tribute to the sacrifice of Hussein for social justice. Large marches are organized in cities across the world to symbolize the eternal nature of Hussein's revolution and to show they stand for social justice, honor, and peace. Yesterday, the March of Arbain was also hosted in Calgary by the Husseini Association of Calgary. To commemorate Arabain, people from all over the globe participate in the tradition of walking 80 kilometers from Najaf to Karbala every year. Volunteers distribute free food and drinks to those undertaking the pilgrimage and offer places to relax, wash, and sleep. Arbain is the largest peaceful gathering in the world. The number of pilgrims has risen to 25 million <laughs> despite the threat of terrorists who have vowed to attack this stand for peace and social justice. As the Minister for Culture and Tourism said yesterday, no one should have to worry about their safety when they worship. I'm proud to be part of a government that is committed to standing up against intolerance and ensuring that Alberta is a place for all people of all faiths. Thank you.